Kim, do you have anything to say about the CFAA and the possibility of the U.S. transitioning from CFAA charges to Espionage Act charges? Well, the, the U.S. government, and I know this very well from my own case, the DOJ is morphing uh, charges uh, and exchanging them for other charges and uh, using other codes and acts uh, to achieve the ultimate outcome uh, which is a long jail sentence. In my case, it, it started as a copyright case and then it became a fraud case because they realized that under the New Zealand Copyright Act, even if you would take all of their indictment as face value, which you can't, but even if you could, in New Zealand, it would still not be a crime. So they had to move away and add additional charges uh, much later in the case after the the commentary was already uh, so negative for them that many uh, law professors and experts in copyright law said what you're trying to attempt here will never work because it's not a crime in New Zealand. So they issued a superseding indictment and then added some extra uh, charges uh, on top. But the funny thing is, and this is how corrupt uh, the system is in New Zealand as well. Uh, these new charges, the new warrant, was never taken to uh, a New Zealand district court judge. Because if the U.S. issues a new indictment, a superseding indictment, replaces the original indictment, the original indictment becomes null and void. In my case, the requirement would have been to go back to the district court, get a renewed warrant based on the new superseding indictment. They didn't even do that. They didn't even bother to do that because they knew uh, that the New Zealand government is just going to go ahead and do it anyway. And uh, they, the basic requirements under the Extradition Act were completely not fulfilled, you know. And here I am seven years later you know, still fighting this thing and, and, and going to the Supreme Court. So I know exactly how the DOJ operates. They are liars, they are tricksters, they are dirty, and all they care about is to get their hands on Julian Assange. And once they have him, you will see a whole new indictment with, with a, a wrath of charges uh, and, uh, you know, a much longer uh, sentence than these five years convicted is 88 years in jail in a copyright case you know so my charges amount to 88 years and of course uh you know it's quite a package if you consider that before my case these cases were all civil cases and after my case after the raid and the destruction of mega upload there has been no other case like this i'm still the only test case of the DOJ to further the copyright agenda of the lobby machine of Hollywood. You know, they paid these Democrats in this pay for play persecution uh, to go after me. Uh, you know, it was a project of Joe Biden and, and uh, former Senator. Uh, um, Chris Dodd was the name of that Senator. Chris uh, Dodd, to, yeah. Yeah, from, from Connecticut. So a pay for play. Uh, prosecution and it has backfired big time for the US. I'm still here seven years later. Uh, you know, uh, the commentary couldn't be more fatal. And the evidence that, ha that they have provided in the indictment has been completely destroyed and undermined. They used translations where we had German communications that were completely the opposite of what we had said. And they put that into the indictment. And then we had three independent translators say what was actually said. And they, they were completely harmless uh, communications. So their entire case um, is falling apart. But that's, you know, the problem uh, with the DOJ is they have no moral compass. You know, they're not in this to seek justice. They are not in this for fairness, you know? There is no fairness in, in the US DOJ. 98% of all criminal cases end with a plea bargain, simply because they torture people, uh, people that are alleged of, of crimes by 
uh, you know, mounting charges on top of charges and, and, and threatening people with 40, 50, 60, 80 years of jail. And then they say, here you go, you sign this little paper and you are out in five so that they don't actually have to fight these cases. That is how the U.S. justice system works. It's a complete uh, uh, corrupt uh, system. And uh, it's actually ridiculous that any civilized nation would consider to extradite anybody to the U.S. Because there's no justice in the U.S. That's exactly what they did with Tom Drake, by the way. Uh, the NSA whistleblower, they, they told him he'd get 35 years. His lawyer said he has to take it. And he decided to go to the day before trial. And guess what? They dropped it all because they knew they couldn't get him. They didn't have it. He had the guts to stand up to them. And they, they, they had to drop it and make it a, and he had a, a misdemeanor.